to go back to the reason I talk about is South Africa lost to England in the T20 earlier today. Ah, it was oh, real close. I can be happy about this. Yes. I can be happy for once. I can be happy about England winning because the little known fact is the UK team is actually called the England team. So I'm happy that they beat South Africa. You can't there's, claim that just because hey, you're Welsh. No, I can. There are Welsh players probably in that team. I don't even know. <laughs> Nobody in Wales cares about cricket enough. But what I do care about is this bottom lane gank. Here goes Sibbet. All right, I'll stay on the game for now. Body slam onto Betsy. Barrel under the tower. Betsy self-casts the tomb as Irwax looking for wisdom. It's jungler on jungler combat. Red buff will help him out. Tower Ooh, shot. Freddy. Kills Freddy. It's first blood to Sunstar. Rocket. This time's gone awry. The Sand Soldiers arise and they conquer Rocket. A triple kill for Sunstar. Big overcommit from Rockat. They're trying to go behind the tower. Some people chased Wisdom out. Some people were stuck in the middle of the fight. And Freddy was stuck between a pillar and a hard place because Smitty J got himself into the fight as well. They managed to take down the top laner to start it off. And man, that was such a good start. Pepe wants it. Oh, he's going to find it. Emperor's Divide. Sharima sends her regards. Oh, is this it for Giants? Is this perhaps... The uh, beginning of a good setup at this point. Look at this, Rocket want to go in. From here, they don't pick a target straight away. Tower had no aggro on them, so that actually wasn't too much of a problem. But at this point, Rocket come out of the initial dive here, and they just haven't called one focus target here. And Hustlin is able to get down a lot of autos, crack that passive multiple times. And Pepinero is doing so much damage from the side, just on these Azir soldiers, not powerful enough 